up over there with her and we already know how this gonna go. Okay, we already know how this gonna go. Now he know where he gonna go first. He gonna be right up over there, <laughs> up under Jaden and girlfriend, <laughs> annoying out of them, <laughs> asking the dumbest questions. What kind of questions he gonna ask? Well, how many times? <laughs> Not good, but we gonna pray. We gonna pray that he get out of there and he have a dream like Martin Luther King. And we still a hundred miles away. You want me to hundred miles? No, we probably ain't gonna like it. Cause we want to see a sign. I know, I know what you're thinking. I've been, I was, I've been there. We all been there. We all been the side girl that want to see the side girl win. Even though we know it's wrong, we just can't help ourselves. We all been there. He going over there to watch, honey. <laughs> he gonna talk about he gonna be over there watching Je Javon. He gonna be over there watching Jaden with her new girlfriend. Honey, child, when I tell you. Hey guys, back with another one. I will be going live today at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I wanted to do a part two of uh, Jaden and Blueface never broke up and that Krishan is hurt. Like I said, uh, Krishan has not really been active on social media. She hasn't really been expressing too much or too often about the situation with her and Blueface. Um, you know, allegedly there are rumors going around that Blueface is out um, and he is with Krishan. Then there's allegations that he's out and he's with um, Jaden Alexis. Then there's allegations that are out that Krishan Rock went back to her house and she's with K Suave. This is when it gets um, confusing because people start to watch that are the messengers, all the grand delusions, and then they start to say, who's going to pay attention to what the truth is? Um, so I did my due diligence, and upon my due diligence, I found the two messengers um, that came up with this assumption on why. Uh, Krishan Rock is hurt because she's allegedly finding out now that Blueface and Jaden never broke up. And it's a implying to that they're still together. And even if Blueface is not free yet or on some sort of house arrest or whatever have you, that they're back together. We don't know whether or not those statements or allegations are true. Now, the source that started this frenzy, and she's been known to do it, is Carlissa, Blueface's mother. You can't knock a mother love for their child. It seems more like a relationship of a boyfriend and girlfriend type of relationship, the way Carlissa is protective of Blueface. But we cannot tell a mother how to love their child. She had him for nine months, and she's going to protect him for a lifetime. But when the two messengers delivered the message, one, I think, piggybacked off the other, but they left out the receipts of where the notion, where the idea came into their head to share that to the public of why Jaden, and it should have been a, a video of, in their opinion, are back together because people would sigh in with the mother's side as someone who knows Blueface personally and is around him that she has seen this pattern of Jaden and Blueface breaking up, getting back together. Other women in between their relationship, other side chicks like Krishan is considered the side chick. And they always get back together. He never leaves her astray. And he definitely doesn't leave the two kids that he has from Jaden Alexis astray either. I get it. But Carlissa has been known, and I have no shade um, to throw on Carlissa. Um, she's being a mother. Sometimes mothers say, and I'm a mother too, say things that are out of pocket, out of line. We kind of sort of should put like a, a cap on what we say, a limitation to what we say about our kids. Because we don't know when they step out the door what they are up to, what they are capable of doing to um, other people. We only know them from what we perceive of them when they're around us. But Carlissa has 
been known to start a social media frenzy over saying things and people riding with that. Now, let me tell you something. I've been in relationships, for an example, myself um, with men, and I may have said bad, horrible things about them when I was mad at them. And my mother saw the ups and the downs, us together, us broken up and not a, um, uh, we were apart. And we got back together. So my mother would do the same thing. Maybe not to the magnitude as Carlissa. But if she was on social media and she chose to feel comfortable enough to get up here because, say, I was a social media influencer that was larger than life. I was a millionaire and everyone knew my name. Um, because of that, my mother would be talking like a mother as well as Carlissa saying what she thinks because that's only an opinion of what Carlissa thinks. She doesn't know the pillow talk between Christian Rock and Blueface. She doesn't know that he might be tired of the flip-flopping. He might still be that Blueface we know where he's going to mess with other women and still deal with Jaden Alexis. But I do feel that when he gets out, he's definitely going to be still dealing with Krishan Rock. And as it stands, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing prior to Blueface going to jail, he was back with Krishan Rock before he went to jail. And Jaden Alexis was with her bookie. She was with her bookie prior to a Blueface going to jail. They pretty much made their decisions. They were going to go their separate ways. Now, we don't know if it's a permanent decision. People can fall in and out of love and then realize that we need each other. I can't be one without you. Or it could be just a use to factor. But we can't run with the narrative like it's set in stone that, oh, Jaden and Blueface never broke up because people are going to run with this storyline as well and take it to be the truth. And then you're going to put yourself in a situation where now you're confused without even knowing it because that might not even be the truth. And then it's it's now up to Krishan if she feels as though she wants to share the information to clear it up when she shouldn't have to clear it up because if no one speaks something that doesn't exist into existence, then there wouldn't be anything to talk about. We can only sit back and watch this play out like we have year after year with this situation, it's pattern of behavior. I don't think anything has changed um, or is abnormal about what is going on. No one should be surprised of the twist and the turn plots that the love triangle um, relationship uh, gurus are doing on social media, Jaden, uh, Blueface, and uh, Krishan Rock. This has been going on for as long as these three have been, you know, in the picture and part of the circus. Carlissa, if people want to take her receipts um, as in that is what they feel or what they took from it, then so be it. But it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And there has been times I have put on videos, um, receipts or things that have been said out of Carlissa's mouth because she is known to repeat things that maybe Blueface perhaps didn't want her to repeat. And she repeated it and that's how we would get the information of certain things. She was basically telling us without telling us subliminally that they were together in uh, the month of December of last year in the beginning of the new year prior to Blueface going to jail, in my opinion. And um, I think that's how I started to get the clues that Krishan wasn't taking a break from social media. She was with Blueface and she didn't want the public to know it or most importantly, her fans and her supporters, because she knew that she would get mad, they would get mad, and she would lose a lot of following. She lost following by her being um, called a colorist. So can you imagine a woman that gets up here, Krishan Rock, and she drags Blueface every single day, but now she's one happy family with them? I don't think that would have sat well with her supporters and her fans, and I think that it just wasn't the right time for her to let them know that she was trying to make it work back with Blueface. And, you know, it is what it is. But again, we have to wait until Krishan is comfortable enough to get back onto social media like she was. 
on a consistent basis, and we have to wait for her to let us know a, a life update story of what's going on in her life because we only see a glimpse of their life. The other 23 hours, we don't know what happens behind closed doors. You know, we can also take uh, friends, families, associates, and we can get receipts from them, but there could be times that we don't even know of that they could be mad at these entities and they could be making up these storylines. So sometimes it's just best, even if we're impatient and we want to hear it from the source, is to wait for the source to release the information. And sometimes when the source releases the information, they're not so forthcoming about the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And, you know, that's still their prerogative. People are not obligated to tell you their whole life story. I have a saying that I always say, my mother said it to me, when you put people in your business, they stay in your business. And I think that they're starting to learn as, and they're young. So this is good. That if there's things that you really don't want people to criticize it or know, don't talk about it. Keep them out of your business. And I think that's what Krishan's doing. That's what she's learning. And that's what she's applying into 2024. And um, probably going forth. But like I said, we have to sit back and watch and see how it plays out.